When women were finally allowed to become pilots of fighter jets, engineers needed to redesign the ejection seats because they had been originally designed for men only. The ejection seats were designed for men weighing between 130 pounds and 201 pounds. Weights of women are now normally distributed with a mean of 162 pounds and a standard deviation of 43 pounds. Complete parts A through C below. If one woman is randomly selected, find the probability that her weight is between 130 pounds and 201 pounds. Okay, now the requested probability is for a single individual from a normally distributed population which can be calculated using a normal distribution with the given parameters. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw our bell curve. Okay, so we know that the mean is given to be 1, 62, we know that the standard deviation is given to be 43 pounds. Okay, and it's saying here that we want to be able to find the probability if one woman is selected to be between 130 and 201 pounds. So if X over here represents 130, okay, and then we have 201, which is going to be to the right of 162, so that's going to be X, which is equal to 201. We're going to call this one x1 and then we're going to call this x2. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to find the area that's in between those two values. Okay, so the goal is, is to find the area that's in between them. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find two z-scores. Okay, the first z-score, we know that the first value is going to be x1, which is equal to 130. And then we know that the mean is equal to 162. And we know the standard deviation is 43. So we're going to find z-score 1, which is equal to x1 minus the mean over the standard deviation. So we get 130 minus 162 and then we're going to divide that by 43. So 130 minus 162 and then divide that by 43 gives us negative 0.74 rounded to two decimal places. So that's negative 0.74. Okay, now we need to find the other z-score where x2 is equal to 201. Again, we know that our mean is 162, and we know our standard deviation is 43. So to find z-score 2, it's going to equal x2 minus the mean over the standard deviation. So we know that x2 is 201, and we're going to subtract 162 over 43. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 201 minus 162 and then we're going to divide that by 43 and that gives us a z-score of 0 0.91 so let's go ahead and label that on our graph so we now know that since this is the z-axis we know that the mean is 0 we know that z-score 1 is equal to negative 0 0.74 and we know that z-score 2 is equal to 0 0.91 and so we want to find the shaded area that's in between that so that means you want to find the probability where it's in between the following two z-scores negative 0 0.74 and 0 0.91 so let's go ahead and open up StatCrunch to determine that probability so here is StatCrunch Okay, we're going to go to Stat, select Calculators, and scroll all the way down to Normal. We know that we have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. We want to make sure the area is in between, so we want to select between. We know that our first z-score is negative 0 0.74, and then the right z-score is 0 0.91, and 
Now we're going to select compute and then we get the probability which is rounded to four decimal places to be 0 0.5889. So at 0 0.5889, let's go ahead and put that in there. So 0 0.5889 and there is our probability. Now it says that if 29 different women were selected, find the probability that their mean weight is between 130 and 201 pounds. Okay, so similarly to what we just did up front, the only thing is, is that the requested probability is for the mean of a sample from a normally distributed population. So therefore, we're going to have to use the following formulas. So again, let's go ahead and then draw our picture. Okay, so again, we know that the mean is 162, and the mean of the sample means is going to represent 162. And again, we know that the standard deviation is given to be 43. Okay, and then again, we want to make sure it's in between the two values of 130 and 201. So here's x1, which is equal to 130, and then here's x2, which is equal to 201. And then again, we want to be able to find the area of the shaded region that's in between those values. So now we need to find the z-score of each x value. Okay. So for the first one, we know that x1 is equal to 130. We know the mean of the sample means is equal to 162. We know the value of n, if you look over here, represents 29 different women that are selected, so n is equal to 29. And then the standard deviation of the sample means is equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So that's going to be 43 divided by the square root of 29. So let's go ahead and find that formula, or find that z-score. So z1 is going to equal x1 minus the mean of the sample means divided by the standard deviation of the sample means. So if we take 130, subtract 162, and then divide that by 43 divided by the square root of 29, let's go ahead and plug that into our calculator. So it's 130 minus 162, and then we're dividing that by parentheses, 43 divided by the square root of 29. Then we're going to round that to two decimal places, so that gives us negative 4.01. Okay, so now we need to find that second z-score. So let's go ahead and do that. So z2... So we know that x2 is going to equal 201, and all the other values are the same up here at the top. So z2 is going to equal the following. x2 minus the mean of the sample means divided by the standard deviation of the sample means. So that's going to equal now 201 minus 162 divided by 43 over the square root of 29. So let's determine what that z-score looks like. So we take 201 minus 162 and then we're going to divide that by 43 divided by the square root of 29 and then we get a z-score of 4.88. Okay, so let's just write our z-score on the z-axis. So there's our mean. z1 is equal to negative 4.01. 
and Z2 is equal to 4.88. And so what we want to do is we want to find the probability of when Z is in between negative 4.01 and 4.88. So let's go ahead and open that up in a stack crunch. So again, we want to make sure it's between which it is. We have a mean of 0, standard deviation of 1. Now we're going to place the lower limit to be negative 4.01. We know the upper limit is going to be 4.88. Press enter. And if we round that to four decimal places, we're going to get an area of 1.000. So let's go ahead and put that in here. We end up getting 1.0000. And there is our answer. Now the question says, when redesigning the ejection seat, which probability is more relevant? Okay, now... If it is more important how the seats behave for an individual, then the result from part A is more relevant. If it is more important how the seat behaves on an average average for a group of people, then the result from part B is more important. So in this case, we're going to say that part A probability is more relevant because the seat performance for a single pilot is more important. 